The Mad Bean Lowrider is an analog monophonic octave pedal based on the Pearl OC7 Octaven. Since the 2015 edition, the octave up section is based on the Fox Rocks Octron. I'm going to be demonstrating it through a Fender Hot Metal Lux recorded with a Red 5 RVD9 dynamic microphone straight in front of the speaker, combined with a couple of impulse responses. I'm going to be using a 1989 Fender USA Stratocaster Plus. Most of the controls on this pedal are pretty simple and self-explanatory. From the right to the left, you have the level of the dry signal, the octave up, the octave down, and then two octaves down. However, there's also a switch, which I initially forgot about, so I had to find a somewhat odd spot for up top there. The switch enables a low-pass filter to the signal going to the upper octave. What this does is it simulates you rolling down your guitar's toe knob, which helps with the tracking of the upper octave, as these effects traditionally work best playing with the neck pickup around the 12th fret, with the tone rolled down. Instead of having to do all that, this switch somewhat replicates that effect. The octave up effect definitely works in both settings, you just end up with a slightly different flavor of the effect. Now first, here's my clean sound. First I'll demonstrate the two octaves down, with a little bit of the clean signal blended in. Now very similar settings on just the one octave down. Now I'll demonstrate the octave up effect. First with the aforementioned filter switch on. Now I'll switch back and forth between the filter off and the filter on. As far as the components go, I stuck with the listed bill of materials. On diode 3 through 6 though, the list gives you a choice between two germanium diodes, the 1N34A or the 1N270. I believe I went with the 1N34A, though that was more informed by what I just had lying around. Also worth mentioning are the two trim pots, fuzz and tone. Those both apply to the upper octave and just allow for a little extra tweakability. Despite the huge board and significant number of components, I didn't really run into any issues with this one. And even though I had to improvise for a second when placing the switch, that also worked out just fine. It's a big enclosure, but it's really utilized fully, and I just have to give Mad Bean props once again for a wonderful design. <laughs> 